call for a truck that is stuck in the river down below in Bloomington. So we're going to head down there and see if we can get it out. Got Eric with us today. It's really cloudy and humid. I don't know what the temperature is because I've been napping for the last 20 minutes trying to catch up on sleep. Toe man life. We got a fire somewhere. It is hazy as heck out there. I think, didn't they say Cedar Mountain? I don't know. Really? But we got Jamie. She's coming Hello. along. Rhett's going to be swinging a camera. We're going to be meeting Rudy and Tim out there. And we're going to see if we can get this out. Jamie, call Rudy and see where he's at. Okay, I'm going to go park. Hi, this. Rudy Toots. What's your 20? Um, I'm just getting to the River Road exit on the Southern Parkway. Have you had lunch yet? I have not. All right, so we're all here getting Subway sandwiches. But Jamie has to be different. I'll bring you the card back in just a minute. I'm gonna you want taco time wrap? I'm watching my cholesterol. You hear that? He's watching his cholesterol. <laughs> What's your age right now? Meat first. Let's see, how much older? I just turned 50 in June. Yeah, you're only five years older than me. Yeah, so in another five years. I have, have to cut to, I have to cut bacon out of my life? <laughs> you'll you'll have, have to stop to. buttering your bacon. How's it going? Uh, it's been a better day. <laughs> so you got a you got a hitch there on the back of that. That's yeah. it. It's upside down right now. Do I need to flip it around? Nope, that's fine. Okay. Okay, who's going in? Oh, we've already got a volunteer. So I'll just build this, and then you just hook it on. So I need you in it in reverse. Okay. Um, and that. Just to break a little bit of suction. Good job, Eric. Almost like you knew what you were doing. That's some mighty fine work. Did we get the rope all straightened out? Yeah. Hey, what size of shirt do you need? Hey. Just knock off her recovery shirt. Thank you. Okay. It sucks I had to make a call, but <laughs> at least I had service to do. Yes, and you didn't break anything. That's good, too. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank yeah. you. All right, well, we're almost back to pavement now. You pretty much saw that thing we just did, and that's what happened. <laughs> did I explain that? Truck come right out of the water. Sure did. No problem. So we got a call for a F-150 that's stuck in the sand down south of Bloomington. So we're going to head down there and see if we can get it out. Yes, it is like 95 degrees, or it feels like that few clouds in the sky and distant storms in the distance.
get it out and then turn it around and point it back that way? That is that the way he came in? He came in from that way, yeah. Yeah. Okay. When he's growling in my ear, maybe maybe he's like a T-Rex. If I don't move, he won't think I'm here. So we got a call for a razor that is stuck somewhere out west of Sand Hollow. So we're gonna head out there and see if we can find it and get it pulled back to safety. I believe this is a repeat customer. Somebody's trying to give Jillian a run for her money. We've had trouble finding this guy in the past, but this time we have exact coordinates. So hopefully it doesn't take us two hours to find him. To quote Ed, we're gonna find him and then get him out. All right, you're probably gonna ask me, what are you doing? That's right. And the answer is, I'm pumping gas. It's starting to become a habit. Yes it is. So I'd like to take this moment to address a global topic. In the States here, we just call it gas. But everywhere else, it's called petrol. And if it's not petrol, they say the whole word, it's gasoline. We just kind of shorten it down to gas here because maybe we're lazy. Lazy Americans. Yeah. So I'm putting gas in the car. What'd you get everybody? Just plain old water. Staying hydrated? Yeah. know where you're at we can get right to you we'll just have you stay in here till we get it done okay Lizzie jump in it get it started okay so drive it with your left foot on the brake double pedal okay now put it in reverse Turn your wheel, crank it hard right, and then gently let off the brake, and just give it the tiniest bit of gas. Okay, gentle brake, gentle brake. <laughs> okay, stop, put it in low range, turn all the way to the left. Okay, you're running, driving with both feet, <clears throat> just give it this tiny bit of gas. Don't let off the brake until it starts to grab. Okay, now you can now let off the brake gently. Give it just a tiny bit of gas. Now go. Stop for a second. Go ahead and stop. Stop. Just come right up through here. Kind of painful. Here, come take the camera, Matt. Are you wounded? I just can't really walk like this. <laughs> Let's see what's going on, Trevor. Oh wow! Get those out of there. They're in the flesh. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna drive up here if you want to watch this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Take All care. Right. So when I got in it and started driving it, I was like, man, I know this thing has more power. And then I realized it can only go 50 miles an hour because I didn't have my seatbelt on. So I had to put my seatbelt on to have some fun. Another seatbelt lesson for Lizzie. <laughs> so, so that gentleman, he's had some health issues and his doctor has recommended that he stay active and do things he enjoys. And that's what he's doing out here. So. We're just praying for his safety and we help him when he needs it. I don't know what else to say about that. Look out for cactus. Thanks for watching.